Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. This is wisdom in the whip. Why wisdom in the whip? Because I got a lot of drive, a bunch of ambition. See, I ain't got a lot. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. Wisdom in the whip. This is wisdom in the whip. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Ariel. Welcome back to another episode of Wisdom in the Whip. And we've been seven days consistent, seven uploads consistent, trying to keep this consistency thing going. All praise to the most higher, right? So back to my story. And we almost done. We almost done. Um, let me know what topics y'all want me to speak about, whether it's relationship whether it's manhood, womanhood, whether it's religion, spirituality, current events, parenthood, personal development, professional development, spiritual development, anything that come to mind, anything that you feel like is a good topic to talk about, whether it's a viral video of somebody doing something or you believe there's a principle hidden within the video or if you want me to do a reaction video to something that happened, if you want to know my thoughts, let me know. But in the meantime, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a family member or a friend. All the subscriptions, we totally appreciate it. Uh, trying our best. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and when it comes to reaction videos, I just want y'all to know, I don't discuss people. I will discuss ideas. I don't discuss people. I will discuss statements. I don't discuss people. But I will discuss topics, situations, and concepts that a person may have. I don't take shots at people. That's not what I do. That's lame. That's whack. Unless the person did something that's really lame, whack, next level, like super disrespectful. It got to be something really serious for me to come at another person because of... I understand people are different. I understand people have different ideals. I understand people have different thoughts and opinions, right? I understand people have different religions, right? So I'm not going to attack someone based on that because I have a different opinion. So I don't want them to attack me, so I'm not going to attack them. Now, if we are talking about religion, I'll debate them about their religion. I'll discuss their religion. I will discuss what they were talking about but for me to say, yo, this person is an a-hole, he, uh, he whack, he lame, he corny, he a goofball, he foolish, he's talking nonsense. It's going to take a lot for me to do that. It's going to take a lot for me to do that. I'm not just going <clears> to <throat> do that off the rip because I believe we can handle situations via conversation. I believe we can handle situations via communication. I believe we can handle situations without attacking each other personally, right? We can talk about the topic. We can talk about the ideas. We can talk about the concepts. We can talk about the religion. We can talk about the spirituality. We can talk about the event. But uh, I don't believe in getting personal too quick. I understand and have a lot of self-control and discipline in that area. So I don't feel attacked by other people's words. Now if somebody just get like super disrespectful and talk about my family or my religion or something. Then I might go back at them and get personal. But other than that, it's going to be a lot. It's going to take a lot for me to get personal because I don't got to get personal because you can't really hurt my feelings with words. <laughs> I got real thick skin, so you can't hurt my feelings with words. So I don't got to get personal. You know, um, if you start to harass me or something, if you continually make videos about me, my kids, my wife or my beliefs or whatever, then I might, you know, say something back. But other than that, it takes a lot to get me riled up. It takes a lot to get me riled up. So with that being said, let's get back into the story, right? So my story, we left off with me and my wife. My wife graduated college. She graduated Syracuse University in 2018. I graduated Syracuse University in 2015. So we are now picking up and heading to Atlanta, right? We are heading to Atlanta. Excuse me. So we head into the A and we don't know what to expect. We trying to find houses down there. We trying to find jobs down there. It ain't working, but luckily we have a safety net because our parents was already there and they had a house. So they had a room for us to stay in if we wanted to stay there. And we did stay there for like 
20 days and then we found our apartment and moved in 20 days later so shout out to my wife's parents for allowing us to stay in her in their home right with our kids so that's a blessing and i end up never getting a job in georgia i actually never applied for a job in georgia honestly i never even applied because i'm like i'm trying to be an entrepreneur i'm trying to practice entrepreneurship so let me focus on driving uber and making money with uber so that i don't have to get a job so i don't have to be under anybody's watch or I don't have to give anybody a two weeks notice. I don't have to be at work at a certain time. I don't have to work and get in trouble or have a superior who's above me who uh, got some drama or something or a co-worker and get into some drama or something like that. So I'm like, since I'm trying to be an entrepreneur, since I'm trying to work for myself, this is a great start, right? This is a great start. <laughs> so we in Atlanta, we couldn't find a house, couldn't find an apartment. Everything requires your credit score. And at this time, I have a terrible credit score. Messed up my credit. Bad. Was not doing the right things. Was not taught financial literacy. <laughs> and I was not uh, keeping up with my credit. So my credit was shot in the trash. So it was kind of hard for us to find an apartment. But we found an apartment all praise to the most high. And I didn't get a job. I never applied for a job. But I did uh transfer from driving Syracuse driving Uber in Syracuse to driving Uber in Atlanta. So now I'm driving Uber in Atlanta, making money, wife making dresses. Me uh we get our we get our uh, oldest daughter in school. Our youngest baby is not in school or daycare yet. So we just trying to figure this thing out and two years later I end up writing my first book, right? The student success mindset. End up writing my first book during the pandemic and I released it during the pandemic as well. I wrote it before the pandemic, but I rewrote it at, during the pandemic and published it. And during the pandemic, then I came out with my t-shirt line, REL Inspires LLC. I got my first LLC in Georgia as well. Education equals opportunity, right? But when we first got to Atlanta, I'm going to keep it real. We was broke. We didn't have no bread. We picked up and left. We saved what we could. We sold what we could. And that was it. It was a wrap. So when we got to Atlanta, we were staying with her parents. We didn't need anything. Then when we got to our own house. We didn't have a bed. We didn't have dressers. We didn't have a table. None of that. So we end up staying on the blow-up beds, right? We end up got some blow-up beds. Uh, two twins, one for my daughter. I think my daughters had one twin and they shared it and we had one full size and shared it. So we didn't have no couch. We didn't have no living room table. We just got a, like a, a little lawn table from Walmart so we could eat dinner on. But other than that, we was just toughing it out, man. We picked up and left on faith. We picked up and left on faith, man. We didn't have anything. We came down with two cars full of clothes that's about it clothes and computers and sewing tables and stuff like that but other than that that's it man we were just left on faith we didn't have no whole bunch of money we didn't have you know no whole bunch of credit we did not have a whole bunch of information all we had was faith all we had was the most high all we had was each other and we said that when we get to atlanta we're gonna make it work and right now we are currently in atlanta been here for three years like i said uh, i've been speaking i wrote my first book published my first book i'm actually in the process of writing my second book i started my youtube channel down here i started REO inspires down here so in three years i've been working i've been grinding 40 hours a week 60 hours a week 80 hours a week just trying to be the best that i can be uh got classes courses been reading books journaling just doing anything that i possibly can to be productive and try to change my life and try to change my life for my family and for those who are coming after me because i believe in being the best that you can be and if i can't be the best that i can be how can i tell you to be the best that you can be so that's the end of my story we are currently here in atlanta we moved twice in atlanta as well we was in stone mountain now we're in Peachtree City, so we moved twice in Atlanta. So all praise to the Most High for that. 
It's your boy, Ariel. Make sure you check out www.arielmerch.com. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Peace.